argue with me. I'm not arguing. I'm just trying okay, to... Okay, I'm going to tell you one more time. Drop the iguana. We don't want to kill wildlife on park property. Okay, I so, understand. So what don't you understand? Oh my God, we don't want to kill wildlife on park property. Hey, dude, Mr. Park Ranger, that's just not just wildlife. That's an invasive species. This is unbelievable. Listen, guys, I've been watching this Iguana Man for months. It's a very enjoyable channel. And uh, what he does, he does a, a great public service. He hunts humanely, and as I'm going to show you how he does it in a minute. He, he mainly hunts iguanas dispatches them humanely and eats them and 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 it's a great service because these iguanas they're all over the place they're an invasive the species and they multiply like wildfire and yet this this insane uh, park ranger who's angry he's 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 got all i think he's got some issues here authority issues definitely he he wants he or just ordered him to break the law because you're not supposed to, this one man is right, you're not supposed to release wildlife, I mean, uh, invasive species, especially not iguanas, back into the wild. So, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's watch this from the beginning. It's a short video, but it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing, and you're going to see how the iguana man performs his public service by humanely uh, uh, capturing the iguanas. Sorry? What is that right there? Is that a snake? Dude, is that a snake? What is that, bro? He is oh, he's awake now. Is he? The question is, how awake is he? Friend is leaning against that iguana, and we're gonna get him with that snare right there, just like that. Oh, guys, I think we have our green iguana. We got a green rock iguana right here. Oh my gosh, he's thrashing. He's going absolutely. Okay, you see how he did it? He uses a long pole with a noose, and he and he gets the iguanas that way. He doesn't shoot them or uh, you know capture them in any inhumane way. And then after later on, he dispatches them and eats them. He he has quite a few videos on how to prepare iguanas. Now, to be honest with you, uh, I sort of find it revolting, and yet I'm really curious. How does an iguana? Everybody seems to like them, but. Oh, uh, I, 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 maybe I'll try it sometime in the future, but old PJ here is going to have to have a lot of vodka and rum in him. But uh, let's get back. We're just about to have the encounter with the uh, crazed, the angry, really angry park ranger. Look, just watch the attitude on this guy. Okay, coming right up. It's a red and green. It's a red and green. Hypo. This is a hypo right here, guys. You got to be careful trying to catch these hypo iguanas we got another one in hand oh my god what look at the sun on this side what a beauty there it is wow guys, look how beautiful red and green wow this is a mixture of a red and green hypo dude absolutely look at ridiculous that. look at that belly right there guys and he is so plump he is so fat he's been eating greens all day basking on these rocks all right because guys we follow all the fwc guidelines any iguana caught, any invasive species caught, must not be released in the wild. So you guys make sure and follow your local rules. Yes, sir. Oh my God, guys, we have the park rangers just rolling up on us. Hello, chef. We're not allowed to catch iguanas out here. Rapidly. We're not allowed to catch them. Nope. It's a park property. Oh, okay. Go somewhere else, please. Oh, I didn't. Okay, you know it now. Can you put them back? Yes, sir, you know it's actually illegal to release an iguana though, right? Put them down, please. Okay, just... I'm just saying I don't want to get in trouble because it's illegal to release them. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that you need to lead with that hole on park property. Okay, and sir. you can't catch anywhere on this whole strip. From I-75 to the turnpike. It's all park property. You have to go somewhere else. So, sir, do you know these are invasive species though, right? Yeah, you're telling me to release the invasive species back in here. This is part Sir, you're arguing with me. I'm not arguing. Sir, sir, how dare you question my authority? Hey, can you see the attitude on this park ranger? You're not supposed to release iguanas. This is, you know, if you live in South Florida, you know how much of a no-no this is. I don't want to see these. It's making me upset to see this iguana. It's going to go out and breed like crazy because of this park ranger. Really bad attitude. Okay, so let's let's watch 
again, this guy's really angry. You know, I think he's got some real bad authority issues. Something's going on here. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more time. Drop the iguana. We don't want to kill wildlife on park property. Okay, I so, understand. So what don't you understand? I understand. Talking? I just wanted to... Okay, but, but we're still talking. I just wanted to make sure you understand what I... No, I understand. So we're perfectly so we clear. need to pack up. Okay, I'm leave leaving. Have I'm a leaving. nice day. I just... Okay. Drop them. I'm going to release the invasive species back. Yeah, invasive species that's wildlife. We don't kill God's wildlife. We don't kill God's wildlife. Hey, Mr. Park Ranger. God's wildlife, that particular God's wildlife, belongs somewhere else. It's just like the Burmese pythons or in the Everglades are eating up all our uh, native uh, species. Yeah, they're God's wildlife. They're God's wildlife in Burma. I guess we're, that's where they're from. So this is this is unbelievable what this guy is doing. Let's let's watch this. We've got a little bit more of this, but this guy has some real attitude problems. Like drop the iguana. Do you see that? Drop the iguana. Oh, jeez. God's wildlife. Where where is this guy? Get these. Okay, let's just watch. Now you can pack up your pole and leave. Have a nice day. To release that iguana. I don't think he knows that it's actually illegal to catch and release iguanas. You know, I don't think uh, we should have released it. Uh, he told us it was his property. He got us on the property game, so I will... What do you guys think about that? Comment below in the section. Uh, we should have released or not. We should have flexed our rights against the park ranger. What should we do in that situation like that? So let us let us, let us know. Yeah, those guys, the iguana man and his friend, are absolutely right. This is really unbelievable. You know, I I'll tell you something that that the way that guy said this is God's God wildlife's uh, uh, God's creed wildlife is God's creatures. You know, you know what that tells me? I don't think that guy was like some angry redneck because redneck they they wouldn't talk like that. They would just say, "Oh, hey guys, just go and kill the bastards because they don't belong here." I, I'm getting a funny feeling that this park ranger. Now I don't know if this is a state or a county or what kind of park ranger, but um, I'm, I'm thinking this guy might be an old hippie. You know, like oh, all of God's creatures, we can't harm them. Yeah, yeah, we can if they're invasive. They're ruining all the other wildlife here. This is unbelievable. Now, here's my suggestion from old PJ here, a resolution here. This this park this park ranger, and hopefully the others don't have the same attitude. And if they do, him and the other park rangers, if they have the same attitude, they need to be retrained. They, in fact, that park ranger, at the very least, he should have said, "Just please give me the uh, the uh, iguana, and I will have it humanely disposed of." You, know, you don't release it into the wildlife. So what I'm suggesting is that this park ranger, as well as others with the same lousy attitude, that the iguana man be uh, give them, uh, retrain them into how and train them into how to capture and humanely dispose of iguanas. That's what that's what I'm suggesting. And as a matter of fact, I, I bet you the iguana man would. Wouldn't wouldn't mind uh, offering the services to the state or to I don't know if it's a state or the county or what, but uh, I, I may, maybe he should do a video with that specific park ranger, retrain them, and then use that video for for training other park rangers about how to capture and uh, humanely capture with the pole and the noose and dispose of the iguanas. But I'm telling you. That's really unbelievable. You see that? Oh, man, that attitude from the park rangers. I, I can't. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, just, well, I'll, I'll see you later. I, I, I don't know if I'll ever get the nerve up to eat an iguana, but that park ranger, oh, my God. I wonder, I, I, I'm sure that park ranger would never eat an iguana. It's, it's, God's, it's God's creatures. God's creatures. Oh, okay, Oz. I'll see you guys uh, later.